starting with site one, which is 5 Grand Street, Congregation Mishkan Israel, Heller and Mandel B Dry Goods Store, and Tamar Zaber Zabo Gendler, who is the Dean of Arts and Sciences at Yale, has a direct family connection she will tell us about. Thank you so much. It's an unbelievable joy to be here today. As was mentioned, I have the honor of serving as the Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences at Yale University. But the reason I was invited here today is because 182 years ago, above a dry goods store that was run by my grandfather's grandmother's grandparents, that's great times five, the congregation that became Congregation Mishkan Israel was established. It was the first Jewish congregation in the state of Connecticut it was among the first Jewish congregations in the New World. And it was a place that in the intervening century and three quarters has become a home for not just the New Haven Jewish community, but the New Haven interfaith community. Hosting speakers such as Martin Luther King in the 1960s and engaging in ecumenical outreach throughout its time. It's an unlikely story how Mishkan Israel got started. In the mid-18th century, in about 1730, the first, sorry, in about 1770, the first Jews arrived in New Haven. But they were Jews from what is called the Ladino tradition. That is, they were Jews whose language was a mix of Spanish and Hebrew, a language called Ladino, rather than Yiddish, which is a mix of German and Hebrew. And that community of Jews, though they were welcome in New Haven, didn't establish a locus of worship. It was only in the mid-1830s that a group of Jews from a small town in Bavaria called Danilo that was beset by anti-Semitism began to come across to the New World. And over the course of a decade, 10 children from the Haller and Mandelbaum families came across on voyages, ranging in age from about 12 to about 25. About a third of the family settled in Baltimore, where they started the synagogue. About a third of the family settled in Cleveland, where they started the synagogue. And about a third of the family settled right here on Grand Avenue, where they started the synagogue. But the very, very interesting part of the story for me is that I didn't know this story until five years ago. My children, my husband and I had been warmly welcomed as members of Congregation Mishkan Israel when we came back to New Haven in 2006. We had visited the cemetery on Whaley Avenue where the Hallers and Mandelbaums are buried and had not known until my mother's sister died in 2015 and we went through her papers that we ourselves were Haller Mandelbaums. But the most important part of the story is that that didn't change the way in which we felt welcome at Mishkan Israel. We felt fully embraced when we didn't know we were Haller Mandelbaums. We felt fully embraced when we discovered that we were and we're grateful to New Haven for being a city that welcomes across the generations and across lived experiences. Thank you for the honor of introducing this event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.